Work crews have spent the last several days fighting to prevent an environmental disaster in Clinton Township. Today, Drain Commissioner Candace Miller gave us an update on progress in dealing with an oil spill. Local force Rod Maloney has the story. They have brought the heavy equipment out here in Macomb County, and it's another case of disaster averted as industrial chemicals get spilled into the waterways, but they were able to prevent it from getting out into Lake St. Clair. Carol Lambert spends a lot of time in her garden. Last week, while out here, she and her husband Joe saw a frustrating sight, oil and tusky drain that sits about eight feet below the garden. On Thursday or whatever, we noticed that there was a thin film of uh, looked like oil on the surface of the water, and a uh, neighbor down the street, Tom, called it in. And uh, then on Friday morning, uh, everybody just came out of the woodwork. Turns out this company, Complete Prototype Services of Clinton Township, had a fire last week. The fire sprinklers apparently washed lots of hydraulic fluid and other oils down the drain. The company hired a crew to clean it up, but that wasn't enough. So when the first calls went into the state last week, local crews got the call to come in and work on the mess. This stream runs in a Harrington drain and then into the St. Clair River. Drain Commissioner Candace Miller says the company is not at fault, is fully cooperating, and the cleanup crew spared the Clinton River as well as the lake. So far, they've taken out about 6,000 gallons uh, out here, and of course, they dispose of it properly. But uh, this is an unfortunate situation. This has happened quite a bit, and uh, this is the first time that uh, uh -huh. it's, we've had the full response, I guess. Though noisy, this quick work is a welcome sight to Joe, who says he's lived here for more than 30 years. Sometimes you smell it, sometimes you can see it. We've had every color of the rainbow out there, uh, red, green, orange, and when it comes down, it, it's, not, it's not supposed to be there, and it's pretty obvious. Now, Candace Miller says that's exactly what she wants to prevent here. She's calling the neighbors the heroes for noticing and calling it in. But she says the county now has a zero tolerance policy on this. And anybody who sees this kind of thing on a local waterway, she expects them to call in so they can get the cleanup crews there right away. Back to you. And speaking of cleaning up, Rod, when do they expect to have the spill cleaned up? Well, the, the belief is, is that they can have the, the majority of the cleanup finished this afternoon. But they're going to be leaving booms in a lot of those uh, those pads there to soak up more of that oil just to make sure that if there's anything residual, residual they can yeah. collect that in the days to yeah, come. I can see that. Okay, Rod, we appreciate it.